Hello dear friends, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. Today I would like to share one case study question based on the surface area and volume class 10. So this is a slightly critical thinking question. So as I always say, read the question very carefully because case study question carries um, five or, or four parts of the question. So if uh, you are not reading carefully, that means you may, may miss something. So the heading it is given conical tank. The advantages of cone bottom tanks are found in nearly every industry, especially we are getting every large drops from the tank is very important. This type of tank has excellent geometry for draining, especially with high solids content slurries as these cone tanks provide a better full drain solution. The conical tank eliminates many of these problems that flat base tanks have as the base of the tank is sloped towards the center giving the greatest possible full drain system in vertical tank design. Rajesh has been given the task of designing a conical bottom tank for his client. Height of the conical part is equal to the radius. Length of the cylindrical part is the three times of the radius. Tank is closed from the top. The cross section of the conical tank is given below. So this is the tank and this cross section is given here. That means it is given in your figure so that you can understand better. Now the part of the questions are the radius of the cylindrical part is taken 3 meter. What is the vol volume above the conical tank? What is the area of the metal seat used to make these conical tank? Assume that tank is covered from the top. Third part is what is the ratio of the volume of the cylindrical part to the volume of the conical part? Fourth part is the cost of metal seat is rupees 2000 per square meter and fabrication cost is rupees 1000 per square meter. What is the total cost of the tank? Oil is filled in the tank. The density of the oil is 1050 kg per cubic meter. What is the weight of oil filled in the tank? So there are five parts of this question. So you have to read the questions and we will go one by one. So don't be panic that you are thinking that it is a difficult question. So once you analyze the question, you will find that you have, what you understand, um, it is all there. So um, first is this vertical or design up to this one is your about this advantages of this conical tank. Now mathematical starts from here. Rajesh has been given the task of designing a conical bottom tank for his client. Height of the conical part is equal to the radius. In this conical part the height is equal to the radius. So if this is r, hey, height of the cone is also r as it is also given here. And next is the tank is closed above. The tank is closed above and the length of the cylindrical part is three times the radius. It is given 3R. So this, this is the height of the cylindrical part is three times of the radius. These are the information given to us. Taking this, we'll go for the question. First question is, if radius of the cylindrical part is taken three meter, R is equal to given that 3 meter. R is 3 meter. So R is 3 meter. So height of the cone is also 3. And height of the cylinder, height of the cylinder it is already given 3 times of the radius. So 3 R. So this I have been writing in capital H is a cylinder and this is small h. Because we will put in the formula. So we should distinguish which one is small h and by its capital H. Because this small h is not mean for all the sides. So first is 
what is the volume of the conical tank so volume of the tank is equal to volume of cylinder plus volume of coal what is the volume of cylinder volume of cylinder is formula pi r square into capital h i have written here so it will be pi into r is 3 given so radius is same both for cylinder and cone then only it will be fixed into h is equal to 3 r so the equal multiply to 9 3 3 square 9 into 3 pi r square h pi 3 square into 3 r so uh, 3 square 9 9 3 are 27 it's not 3 r 3 multiplied by 3 again because r is 3 sorry so 3 times 3 9 3 r is 9 9 and 9 81 pi next is this is the volume is cylinder volume of the cone is the formula is 1 by 3 pi r square h so it will be 1 by 3 into pi into r square is 3 square into h is 3 again so 3 3 cancel it will be 9 pi so volume of tank is now volume of cylinder is equal to 81 pi plus volume of coal is 9 pi so this will be 90 pi so you may please observe how i am calculating so that you will also can calculate easily so 90 pi means now i'll put the values pi is equal to 3.1 for i am not putting your 22 by 7 because 90 is now divisible by 7 so 90 multiply 3.14 you can you can multiply 90 90 multiply 3.14 so it will be 0 9 4 times 36 carries 3 9 1 3 12 1 9 3 27 28 so I'll this 0 I'll put two places then decimal then the answer is 22 182.6 and this is question is about volume so it will be meter cube 90 pi 90 into 3.14 that will be this much of cube so this part 1 answer is done this is 282.6 meter cube now coming to second one what is the area of the metal sheet used for the making making conical tank? So when we take metal sheet or we make it, so we take the curved surface area to cover it. So curved surface area, but here it is given that assume that this tank is covered over above the top. That means this area will be also covered the area of this is it is same as your circle this will be pi into r square pi r square and when we'll talk about the curved surface area this is cylinder is 2 pi r h and curved surface area of this cone is pi r l so we have to first find the slant height first find the slant height so slant height is equal to if it, this is a conical I'm, I'm better drawing a diagram this is r this is also r so I'll get the slant area slant height it will be l square is equal to you know r square plus r square or 2r square so l will be given that root 2 r we can calculate square root of 2 is root 2 and r so l is equal to 3 root 2 l is equal to 3 root 2 after getting l i'll 
find now curve surface area. So total curve surface area is equal to curve surface area of cylinder that will be 2 pi r h and pi r l is the upper cone and this top is equal to pi r square because it is a circle. In place of r we will put 3 and l is equal to under root 3, 3 under root 2. So it will be 2 pi into 3 into 3 uh, sorry 3 r h is equal to 3 times of r plus pi into 3 into 3 root 2 plus pi r square is pi into 3 square 3 into 3. So it will be 3, 3, 9 to 18 pi plus this will be 9 root 2 pi plus 9 pi. Now I am adding these two. So this gives me 27 pi plus 9 root 2 pi. Now I will put the value of root 2 under root 2. You can keep in this way but it is better to find the whole solution. So this will be, you can take pi common, it will be 27 plus 9, root 2 is equal to 4, oh, sorry 1.41. It will be 1 point, under root 2 is 1.41. This will be pi into 27 plus 9, 9, 9, 4 times 36, carry your 3, 12, 12.69. So it will be your 39.69. We'll add 39.69. Now I think this is divisible by 7. Let me see. 27 into this. So if I multiply 7, 5 times 35, 4, 6, 7, 6, 2, 4, 7. So this will be now 22 multiplied by 5.67. This will be let us multiply somewhere here. I will multiply I am multiplying 25.67 multiply 22 2 7 times 14 carries 1 3 1 7 times 14 3 1 1 it will be 4 Two one decimal, so it will be one twenty seven point seven one twenty four point seven four. So the this is area, so it will be centimeter square. Now coming to third part. What is the ratio of volume of cylindrical part and the conical part? So volume of the cylinder part is pi r square into h upon this conical part is pi your r square into r. h is equal to 3r pi 3 square into 3r and here it will be 1 by 3 into pi into 3 square into 3. 3r is sorry again I am writing 3. It will be 3r means 3 into 3. Now cancel 3 square I am cancelling. This 3 I am cancelling. So pi pi cancel. So it will be 9 upon pi. So the answer is 9 is to 1. Now fourth part.
the cost of metal sheet is 2000 per square meter and fabrication cost is 1000 per square meter what is the total cost of the tank what is the total cost of the tank so the metal cost was like this only the answer was 124.74 this was the um, metal sheet now you will multiply 3000 in this because 2000 for your making and for fabrication 1000 so 3000 for 1 square centimeter so how much square meter we got we got already we calculated this one it was this one 39.69 into 22 by 7 and it was 124.74 124.74 4. so this will be 124.74 4 multiplied by 3000 Three zeros, then I'll multiply three, three four the twelve, carries one, three seven the twenty one, two, two, three, two the I'm writing here it is better. I should not be very overconfident. Multiplying three. Three four the twelve carries one, three seven the twenty one carries Again, 2, 3, 4, 0, 12, 14, carries 1, 3, 2, 0, 6, plus 1, 7, 3. So it will be how many zeros? 3 zeros. I'll put decimal here. So it will be 3, 7, 4, 2, 2. 3, 7, 4, 2, 2. So this will be 3. much money seventy four thousand two hundred twenty rupees will be the cost of this rupees three next is oil is be filled in the tank that means you are putting oil inside the tank the density of the oil is 1050 1050 kg per cubic meter what is the weight of the oil so weight is equal to volume into density we have already calculated the volume volume was how much volume was 90 pi pi the volume was total was 90 pi t into 2 by 7 weight of 90 pi is into your 1050 so here i can cancel 7 7 1 7 5 0 so now you multiply, you will get the answer. So it will be 3 into 1350. So we will multiply 0 and 67 seven, 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 two, nine, seven. so this much money will be 2 lakh 97 thousand 2 lakh 97 thousand rupees will be needed for this
sorry this is not the weight i'm very sorry this is the weight this will be in kg this will be kg so how many quintals 297 quintals because one quintal is how much so you may recheck to find if I have done any mistake in calculation in any part and you may please write in the comment section so I will be happy thank you for subscribing my channel thank you for watching the video